So I haven't recorded a video in God knows how long, and I especially a makeup video. <sighs> My face looks so fat. <sighs> but I'm losing weight, so that's good, right? After my twins, I was sick for so long. Um, before my twins, it was the smallest I've ever been for weight. And uh, after my twins, I uh, was sick and didn't lose the weight fast enough. And now, finally, that I've been recovered a few months and been more active and my food choices aren't always the best, but they're getting there. I'm starting to lose weight again. I fast a lot. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's just, I don't know. I have some stomach problems, so it just works best for me. So I'm just using um, my NYX HD Studio Photogenic concealer as my primer. I love it. It seems like it keeps my um, my eyeshadow on all day really well. And then this is just the white uh, eyeshadow base. And you can just use whatever you have. I have four new palettes coming from uh, BH Cosmetics, so I'm excited. Because I'm a single mama, I cannot order much for myself. So getting that from BH Cosmetics was a huge um, treat. So I'm excited. I always spend my money on my kiddos. So, and this this is the um, Summer Loving palette. I had it. It's already I've already hit pan on a couple colors because I really liked it, uh, especially this. Deep red, it's so pretty. As I was depending if I was gonna wear that or that purple. I think I'm gonna do the purple today. And you've lived in this house with the spirits. And after our investigation, we have no doubt. Oh, we'll go for it. And this is just a fake what we have are what, 214 Mac brush. I've had this for years. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of that this deep purple right here. Man, the lighting is shit in here. Sorry, guys. Is so, like a deep purple, um, pink? And just gonna add, um, mix it with a little bit of this light, light brown. It's not light, I guess. It's a little bit deep. So we got an immediate response, letting us know that she's here. That's quite amazing. But I think she's a little disturbed. I want it to be kind of a burgundy color. That's what's kind of coming out. It's just a plain wet wild blending brush. There's nothing on it. Okay, and then another wet and wild brush for shadow. I'm just going to pick up that pink color. Purpley pink. I don't know, magenta? Is that what that is? Magenta? If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I know I'm going through this fast, but... Um, for some reason, I'm like, what the hell? So what and I have to leave in like 15 <laughs> minutes. I'm like, oh, let me record a video too. I don't know. I don't get a lot of time to myself, so I get like all excited and want to do a million things. Um, and kids are at daycare right now, and I have to go to a doctor's appointment. And uh, so I'm like, wanting, I did an hour of laundry. I was so excited because I had this pile of laundry there for weeks and I got through most of it and oh, I swear, it was, it was like climbing a mountain. Oh, this color is so pretty. I'm trying to pat it on so I don't have a lot of fallout, but I should have used a bigger brush. 
I need to clean my brushes, Not that's part of the problem. And uh, even I will lay it underneath, but I'm gonna use a little of that brown too, so it doesn't look like I have a horrible case of pink eye. More burgundy. Can this uh this brush has nothing on it? Just gonna go in and soften the line that that pink made. So it's all blended. Nice and sweet. Now I'm a weirdo, and I keep, I find it now, I keep one brush for my eye, uh, eyebrow area, so it never touches anything else but light colors, and that's, this one is, I have just a fluffy brush I got somewhere, I don't remember where, and I only use it for my eyebrow area, I don't know, that's just one of my OCDs with my makeup. I used to have this really big fluffy one and it got lost because I have little girls who also think that they need to wear my makeup. And I was sad because I had that brush for so many years. But that's part of being mom. And outnumbered too. And this is just an elf lift brow pencil. I don't do as much. I just kind of rock the um, Sharpie eyebrows, you want to call them, I guess. I like it. Um, where, you know, I have um, my mom's Mexican and the whole face shape, I just feel like it fits with ours, but I don't know. Some people have criticized me for wearing it, but I'm like, dude, this is what I like. This is what I grew up with. So, this is what my cousins wear. This is what we like. <laughs> and I don't use black at least. So, this is just a deep brown. Alright, and then I'm just going to do a liner quick. This is black from CoverGirl 24 Hour Coal Eyeliner. And just a soft one. Um, I actually like this one pretty well. I've tried a bunch. And some of them don't sharpen worth nothing. But this one sharpens pretty well. And it stays put pretty well too. My TV's not too loud. Watching ghost shows. Watch, I'll go back and this video will be totally ruined because all you can hear is a ghost show in the background. Now this is a liquid liner by Milani. I think it's waterproof. Black Noir. I don't remember. It's called the Tank Eyeliner. Usually I just get waterproof ones. I don't remember if this is or not. Because I live in the cold, when you go outside sometimes your eyes get watery uh, when it's really cold. So I tend to buy waterproof eyeliners. And also in the summer, it's really humid here. So you're either, <laughs> you're either crying or sweating, I guess. Oh, that's Wisconsin. I live here, so I can't complain. What place are they talking about? Yeah, that's the Howard Dickinson house. It's one of the oldest houses in Henderson, Texas. And you know, I am so good in my right eye, but like this left eye, man. Every time. And then this is my favorite mascara, is the telescopic mascara. I think this one's waterproof too. Black is black. I know I hope horrible bags. I'm gonna cover them up in just a second. 
My daughter took a long nap at daycare yesterday and she has sleep issues. I have told them and asked them not to let her sleep more than 40 minutes because she will not sleep then at night. So she was up over half the night with all kinds of funny questions. Mom, can I ride the bus tomorrow? Mom, can I get a Moana bed set? I have no eyelashes and this is just like makes me actually look like I do. I love it. And it doesn't like look spidery. I don't think so anyway, but maybe it does. I don't know. I like it, so that's what matters. A lot of people trace the haunting of the house back to the 1880s when David and Martha's son George reportedly shot his brother Pat. And the story goes that Pat crawled up the stairs. Well, I'm. I usually don't do a full like. Um, burns or all that stuff. I usually just do um, powder foundation for work. And right now I'm just adding a little. Um, highlight in my inner corner. Not one that I want to go overboard on. Alright. This is Wet n Wild Foundation. I think I got this on clearance. This one's in soft beige. I don't remember. I think I got it. No, this one I didn't get in clearance. I just wanted some liquid foundation for real clearance since when I wear it. I almost always wear powder. Oh, son of a. That's what I get for slopping it on like it's frosting. Hopefully, I'm wearing a sweatshirt, so hopefully, you won't see this big spot of. Oh my gosh! <laughs> no wonder I'm single. God. I'm using a. What do you call it? A thing. A blender. And this is clean. I just washed it, but for some reason, it's like really stained. It's actually still wet. I'm a mess as a person. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is about as much as I'm gonna do. Um, put some powder and concealer on and that's it I know I should oh. I'm so mad like can you see that <laughs> oh my gosh I mean it don't matter I'm wearing a big sweatshirt over it but come on come on get your life together oh lord all right I'm taking my concealer this video is getting so long already and I don't want to edit it because I don't know how to do that very good. Yes, I'm using a lot of concealer because can you see the size of those bags? Looks like I'm packing for a week. I'm just going to blow it in my finger. I think I like that best. And then I still have a huge bag, but it looks a little better. Um, okay. I feel like people have come into this room and actually seen the body. Out. And then, um, the powder I use this is a stay matte, not flat. Uh, powder foundation by NYX. I really like NYX products. They're pretty affordable and they have good quality. Um, 
you know, like, they're a drugstore, but they're a high-end drugstore. I think. I don't know. I don't know nothing. But I like them. I feel like they're a better quality. She was in there. Now, I see her standing right up there and walking down the stairs. Oh. I should wear blush or something, but I don't because I just don't. This is enough. For me. And so that's my makeup for today. What do you think, people? Not too bad, huh? I'll probably throw on some. But here I have a good. I'm not a big lipstick wearer, but because my lips suck. This is new cocoa oil. Coconut oil. Put that on my lips. Cause they're super dry. And then um here in a minute I'm gonna add this. It's really pretty. It's a uh, marshmallow by NYX uh, butter gloss. It's really pretty. I like it. I'm not a big lipstick wearer. <coughs> I can't even put foundation on without making a mess. You think I can wear lipstick without getting it everywhere? No. So. That's it. Checked in. Hopefully I can like do some more of these. It'd be nice if I could actually make videos again, but very rare I have any time like this. Anyway, hope you liked this quick get ready with me. I guess not really a tutorial, just kind of get ready with me. I'm going to grab my coffee, throw my shoes on, and get to my appointment before I'm late, which I probably already am. Bye.